I'm here at American University asking students what they think about concealed carry in Washington, D.C. I'm not a fan of guns, and I think it's a little weird that someone can carry a gun around and you wouldn't know it. So at least be upfront about it. Don't be sketchy and, like, hiding your gun away. So you're saying, like, around here there's probably not any criminals that have guns illegally carrying around? Do you think? Do I think uh, criminals, I mean, people have illegal guns? Yeah, around here. They might, but I. it's not highly likely. I know people that like do it like illegally and I don't feel like I don't feel safe all the time with them because they're tearing it for certain reasons for protection in that whole sense. So I feel like if it was just like banned or something, I feel like that would be fruitful in a way because it allow everyone to have an even playing field as opposed to having people that are able to and certain people that aren't, you know. Yeah. But if, if people are, you know, you said that, you know, people who have to have do it illegally. Yeah. So then the, the ban doesn't stop them from it, right? It doesn't. What is the concealed carry? Yeah. Guns should just be illegal. Guns should be illegal. Yeah. Why do you think that? Why? Because there's no need to have them. So you don't think anyone should be allowed to have a gun? No. Look at like Australia. Great country. If you're in a situation where you need to carry a gun around to protect your, like that just seems like you, there's other avenues you can go. Like what? Like find a different area to live in. You have a city that can't hold guns, but you have like two cities that are surrounding it where people can buy guns freely. There's straw buys that happen every day. People go to Virginia, find some guy who's a registered gun buyer, can own guns, they buy it for them, they give it to them. That's how it usually works. Yes. Do, do I think criminals are encouraged because the law doesn't let other people have guns? No, I think people who, you know, no, I don't. <laughs> Why? Um, I don't know. I think that someone who, you know, wants to have a gun will probably find a gun, and I think that we should try to minimize that as best as we can. So they're going to find a gun no matter what the law is? I mean, perhaps. So, but you don't think that people who, other, like, other people should be able to have guns then, since those people are going to have guns anyway? No. So... The argument that, like, if we make guns illegal, then only criminals are going to have them is kind of uh, BS. <laughs> I, it, it's just not, I don't think it's a very strong argument. Like, eh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I don't really, I'm, I'm not really. Like, why, why do you think they, they would be, wouldn't be encouraged by not knowing that people have guns? Why do you think it's not a strong argument? Well, I feel like um, if people, people, <laughs> people can, like, oh my God. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. How do you, how do I want to, how do I word this? I, I really don't know. I'm really bi I Well, there's other ways to defend yourself or just be aware. I took a self-defense class last semester. Like, I think that um, having that kind of privilege kind of in some way provokes a sense of paranoia and a sense that they need to protect themselves perhaps from imagined things that they're afraid of. I don't know. I'm just against guns in general. I come from a very liberal background. I, if I'm going to carry a gun around, I want people to know I have it so they're frightened of me. I think it was just a better way to either like impose a ban where it shouldn't be like automatic. Like I feel like a difference between automatic and like handguns. Mm -hmm. Like people having regular handguns, it's like you got to reload and stuff like that. But with people that have automatic guns, there's no need to reload. You can shoot 30 people, you have aim, you can kill those 30 people. But if you have like eight shots and you're not very really good, I mean, yeah. Catherine Timpf, Campus Reform.